Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So a quick question. Did you know that 20% of people struggle with procrastination? So that's like one out of every five people struggle to put off tasks that they know they need to do. Okay, so procrastination is a bad habit that can ruin your life if you don't deal with it to overcome it. Okay, so in this episode, we will explore the real reason why people procrastinate. Now, whether you are a procrastinator, some of us are, I am to a certain extent, or whether you're looking to improve your productivity, this video will give you the key to overcome procrastination so you can tap into your greatness. This is a conversation that leads to greatness. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Akisha Smith. And I'm Lester Smith. And we create content on a weekly basis that educate, motivate, and inspire you to tap into your greatness to create the life you desire. Okay? So today we're talking procrastination. Procrastinating all of that good stuff. Now I can attest to at to a certain extent I am a procrastinator, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm still working on that. Mm -hmm. So I can show you the things that I have done and talked about what I have done to help me overcome it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But first I want to start with the definition. Okay. <clears throat> so to me, okay, not to me, the actual definition to sum it up it is an act of delaying and po are postponing a task or activity. Okay. You basically, you delay it. You, you procrastinate to the point where it's the last minute for you to get it done. When you know it is very important to your life, to your situation, to whatever is you delay it and you postpone it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, now whether it's big or small is the, is the thing. Cause mm -hmm. you know, to me, I felt like, <laughs> When it comes to procrastination, I will procrastinate on a small. To me, it's a small scale of things, okay? Uh, it would be like waiting to clean the house last minute, and now everything piled up, and now I have to do this big old major cleaning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to me, that's small. Just saying. Um, well. It, to me. Well. <laughs> if, you, if you procrastinate on that on that specific yeah, thing it's a habit practice and you you'll make it make it a habit you're right and not and it won't just be just in that small thing it'll go off to, to bigger things to bigger things too. you're right yeah that's definitely that's what i'm learning you know okay. what i'm just saying okay. you know okay. but yeah so rather big or small procrastinating or procrastination is still have the same it's a it's still a bad habit that can actually um affect your life mm -hmm. so let's talk about the difference between prioritizing mm -hmm. and procrastination okay to me, it is a different because I thought it was the same. I kind of blurred the lines between prioritizing and procrastination. Mm -hmm. uh, but prioritizing is basically you're deciding what task to focus on first okay. based on how important it is to whatever you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, procrastination is basically you are deliberately, deliberate, deliberately, <laughs> you are on purpose purposefully delaying the task that is unnecessary mm -hmm. or are you putting it off until the last minute mm -hmm. like you really don't have to but you just make a choice in your mind that I'm just going to put it off and wait till the last minute to do it mm -hmm. okay now to me this way of doing it leads to stress anxiety it leads to like poor performance mm -hmm. because at the end of the day when you're rushing to get things done when time is not on your side you'll just throw anything together you'll just get do anything just to get it done mm -hmm. because you didn't wait it to the last minute exactly yeah yeah. So, what you got to say about that? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is your topic, so, you know, you're going to be doing most of the talking. So. Uh, yeah, okay. Procrastination. Uh, yeah. Um, when it comes to procrastination, you want to act now. So, that way, it'll kill that procrastination. Most uh, people, um, fear will cause you to procrastinate. The the not knowing mm -hmm. uh, of, of what the outcome the, the outcome going to be. Mm -hmm. That'll cause you to procrastinate. And that's something that you not, don't, don't want to do. So you want to, let me say this, it may be one small thing that lead up to several things uh, that you that you need to uh, uh, to get to your goal or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So you may need to do this, 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 and, and, and it leads up to that one thing that you need to do. The big thing. But if you don't start the, the one thing, you'll never get to the big thing. Yeah. 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 So basically look at the baby steps versus yeah, the overall the big steps. steps. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I like yeah. that. The big, like yeah, the big mm -hmm. steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's move on to why do people procrastinate? Mm -hmm. Like when you had before this, you had sent me the video of Myron Golden, mm -hmm. and he was saying, you know, 
how many he asked how many people have a procrastination problem and he was like you don't have the procrastination problem mm -hmm. it's like the procrastination is a symptom of mm -hmm. the problem mm -hmm. and the problem you have is anxiety you have an anxiety problem mm -hmm. and it registered with me very deeply because i know when i get in the like in that bad habit of procrastinating or thinking about or wanting to procrastinate most of the times it's because my heart is beating i have anxiety i feel like this heavy burden on me, so I'd be like, man, I'm not gonna deal with it right now. I'm, Cause you, I'm not. Because you're thinking about the end goal. Yeah, you, and, yeah. And you're taking the baby steps. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. yes. And a lot of times people procrastinate, even though it might be a lot of reasons. And I realize once you understand why you procrastinate, mm -hmm. it will help you to overcome. Mm -hmm. You can't overcome something you you don't understand why you do it. Mm -hmm. So for me, I know I used it as a coping mechanism mm -hmm. um, to not deal with difficult emotions, to not deal with what, I'm not, what I don't want to feel. Mm -hmm. And so I will procrastinate. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Keep putting it off, keep putting it off um, to cope, you know, to avoid feeling whatever feeling I don't want to feel at the moment. Frustration, mm -hmm. resentment, um, whatever. Yeah. So I realized that's what I was doing, and now that I realize it's a coping me mechanism and I understood why I did it, I can now take the steps to help me overcome procrastination when that comes up, mm -hmm. when the habits kind of, you know, surface back up, yeah. you know. So with me, um, for me, I procrastinated because of that, but many people have different reasons. Um, one of them is um, stress. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want to be stressful or the anxiety or the fear of the unknown mm -hmm. that's like one of the those are the three main reasons mm -hmm. people procrastinate yeah basically yeah if you really you think about it the the reason why you procrastinate is either one of those three yeah and what the main one is fear yeah fear of the unknown fear of what the outcome is going to be yeah fear of, of, of failure oh that's a good one right there yeah fear of failure you you let me tell you something everybody fail Everybody. Even the most successful people fail. But Even the ones that don't try. Exactly. Fail. Well, well, let me it. tell you something. If you don't try, you're going to fail exactly. regardless. Exactly. So Everybody. you might as well try. Everybody And fails. see what happens. Yeah. Everybody going to fail. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, and by you having that fear of failure, you just don't do it. You're like, ah, I'll do that tomorrow. Let me tell you something. Tomorrow might not come. Tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never comes. <laughs> because it'll always be tomorrow. Because tomorrow. Tomorrow. you're going to keep putting it out to the bar. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And tomorrow never comes. Yeah, it's never and, set in stone. And that and that thing that you that you're trying to do or that you want to do, it never comes. You know, we procrastinated for a long time on this YouTube channel. We mm -hmm. we said that in our previous episodes. Uh, it was actually part of being created years ago, but mm -hmm. but hey, that's neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? We here now. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad we're here because we get to talk about the thing. Let me tell you something. The things that we're talking about on this YouTube channel. Uh, it helps us to get better, do better, and be better in our life, and also help other people too. Mm -hmm. Because by us teaching what we're teaching, it helps us too also. Yeah, it kind of keeps it fresh on our mind. Exactly. It, it keeps us to help renew our mind. Because mm -hmm. a lot of, yeah, because mm -hmm. a, a lot of times, and, and another thing with procrastination, we get so busy mm -hmm. doing stuff yeah. on a daily basis where it causes us to procrastinate because time is not on our side. Mm -hmm. So we feel like, okay, well, say for instance, let's do something small. Um, you know you need to go to the grocery store because the weekend is coming up and the kids is going to be home. You need to cook, right? Mm -hmm. You got one more day. So today you feel like, man, look at all the stuff I got to do. Maybe I can do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then you get to tomorrow. Tomorrow you still have a list of things to do. Mm -hmm. It's not going to change. It's like you have to make room in order for you to stop procrastinating. You yeah. can't find time to do something. Yeah. You have to, I mean, you can't um, make room. You have to find time, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like we keep saying, I'm going to do it tomorrow, do it tomorrow, and do it tomorrow. And before we know it, we didn't procrastinate so long. Now we got to take the kids. We didn't pick the kids up. This is the last minute. Now we got to take the kids to the store yeah. with us to go get what we possibly got two days ago when, without when, the kids. When, when you could have did it without the kids. Yeah. The kids running around the store acting crazy. Picking, picking up the, everything. Yeah, picking up everything. You and, know. And you big man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you could have just went on and did that yesterday with no kids. And now that's causing anxiety. <laughs> and yeah, stress because exactly. now you yeah. dealing with these kids and can't think or function dang what do I need to pick up what I said I needed mm -hmm. and then if you don't pick up everything you still gotta end up going back to the store mm -hmm. the day of exactly. so it's almost like you know when you procrastinate it, it hurts yourself um, in a way because at the end of the day you still gonna have to do it mm -hmm. 
whether you want to or not. Yeah. That's when I'm realizing. At the end of the day, when you procrastinate about something or giving you fear, anxiety, stress, or using it as a coping mechanism, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, you're still going to have to do it. Mm -hmm. Rather now or later in the future. Mm -hmm. It's still going to have to be done. Yeah. Because that is your next level. Yeah. That is how you're going to get to your next level of greatness. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about why people procrastinate in their journey. Okay. Um, I can give, you know a, I mean I can give a, way, a way that I procrastinated. Okay. I guess it's something similar to the journey. Uh, back in 2020, I uh, I made a conscious effort to stop watching TV in my office so that that way I could uh, get some work done in my office when I was in my office. But I knew I needed to do that years before. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about it literally took a couple of years for me to stop procrastinating on cutting the TV off so that way I can get some work done. And let me tell you something. We made more money in 2020 than we ever made in our life. Because, and, and, but, but it could have been before that though. You understand know what I'm saying? It could have been two years before that. But because I procrastinated on cutting the TV off or, or even taking the TV out of the office, um, it, I let it cost me a lot of money. Think about that. You know, you know that business that you want to start? That, 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 that procrastination that you're doing is, is probably it's costing you a lot of money. Because let me tell you something, tomorrow I ain't promised to nobody. And they promise to nobody. So if you think about that and say, "Well, man, I've been I've been contemplating and and, 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 and thinking about doing this certain thing that I want to do for the last couple of years, and I still haven't done it yet. Why haven't you done it yet? You know what I'm saying? You have to sit down with yourself and think about it. And if it's fear that's causing you to do that, and see me, I was just being what what what, what was I being? Stubborn. Stubborn. That's that's a good one. I was being stubborn because I wanted to. Cause I, cause I like to, I, I like those episodes, you know those, uh, what do you call the series? And that's why I was watching a lot of the series. <laughs> series. And I, I was liking the series and the football games, basketball games. Now I really don't even watch football and basketball like that no more. I wait till we get the championship and now I start watching. But I, I'm still a fan of football, basketball. But because I took that, that, that TV out of there, I make more money now. You know what I'm saying? And it makes a lot of sense when you actually think about it. Yeah. And I think um, what another mm -hmm. reason why people. Um, procrastinate mm -hmm. is because they don't want it as bad as they say as bad as they you know, as they okay. say they okay. want it or mm -hmm. want something or want to accomplish or want to become and do be and have mm -hmm. they don't want it as bad so they let the fear anxiety the stress over overtake their want or the passion that they have to change yeah um so they procrastinate mm -hmm. and when you want it, it's like, I think I just actually heard this. Um, 19 Key said, show me your your daily habits. Show me what you do on a daily basis and I can tell you your goals. Mm -hmm. And he was like, it's a lot of times people have these rich goals, but with poor habits, mm -hmm. poor people habits. Exactly. He, they have rich people goals with poor people habits. Mm -hmm. And that's that's procrastination is a poor person habit if you mm -hmm. think about it exactly. because you keep putting off putting off putting off and before you know it it's not going to be as important to you mm -hmm. something else is going to come take that place i like that um yeah. so when you look at it like that like do i really want this is it bad enough do i need to go in and redo what i really want yeah. is this you know it might be a time where you want to do something in a season and that season has passed away because you procrastinated. Mm -hmm. Now you got to go back to the drawing board and see what do I really want. Yeah. And I'm talking from experience. That just can't literally just drop mm -hmm. in my head. Yeah. And what I mean by that, just to give you an example or insight, I remember when um, my journey to where I'm at now, you know, I did nursing school. At that point in time, I went into nursing school, you know, mm -hmm. but I did not open my salon. At that moment, I should have, before I did nursing school, I should have opened my salon fresh out of cosmetology school. Had a vision, the name, and everything God gave me, okay? But I didn't do that. I procrastinated because, for one, I was scared. It was free. I ain't never been done before. I just graduated um, cosmetology. Don't have experience, you know, or whatever. So then, when I did open up my salon, to me, I felt like that season was slowly passing because now I'm older. I have, I have my, our daughter, so now my priorities change, mm -hmm. and I procrastinated on a lot of things that could have catapulted my business to the next level mm -hmm. because I, I wasn't there. I didn't want it bad enough, yeah. so that caused me to procrastinate. I know I was supposed to be posting, doing seminars, doing this, 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 taking, you know, what I have and build on, yeah. but it wasn't important to me no more. Mm -hmm. So once I realized, okay, Keisha, I procrastinated, and to me, I got down on myself because I know I, I. 
like when you know you procrastinate, you be like, man, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't blame nobody to where I'm at but me. So once I realized that's what that was, I had to go back and say, okay, this season has passed. My whole little time frame to accomplish this work that I, this dream that I had has passed. It's changed. Mm -hmm. So now, Keisha, what do you want? What do you want bad enough that will keep you from procrastinating in your life on things that you want? Yep. And that's what I had to do. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to go back and sit down with yourself and say, okay, this might not be what I want. At this area where I'm at right now, what I'm going through, my life, who I'm with, connected to, it might not be the same as when you, you know, first mm -hmm. wanted it. Yeah. 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 And also, too, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Procrastination also will will cause you not to step outside of your comfort zone. We got a video on comfort zone too. You can go check that out. Yeah. It'll cause you to not step outside your comfort zone because because of that fear, like we said earlier, that fear, and it it, it it'll cause you to live a life of mediocrity, mediocrity and complacency. You understand what I'm saying? And and because you because you're comfortable, more people want to stay comfortable. And as they stay comfortable, they won't step outside of their comfort zone. And that's also procrastination, too, from what the way I look at it. Yeah. And just to share, like, because this just came, because literally you just had me to watch this video. Yeah. So I think this is the this is the misunderstanding of procrastination. Mm -hmm. And I and I got to check myself and I'm just checking what we're saying. Mm -hmm. um, if you think about what uh, Myron Golden said, mm -hmm. it's, be, it's really not fear. Mm -hmm. Because when you fear something... It is actually a possible event that can happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, he used the example, like if he's playing golf in Florida, and you know, there's gators everywhere, and he hit the ball by the little lake. Mm -hmm. He's not going to, he's going to fear that it's a gator going to come because that's an actual threat. And let the gator that's, have that ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's something that can happen. Yeah. Um, but when we think about procrastination, we're actually focusing on something that could happen in the future that could have, you know, that could happen, would, not even would. It's like we predicting something the future. That might happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. we predicting the future on something that might happen that we don't know. Yeah. So that, he said, that is what caused the anxiety. It's not fear. Yeah. Because fear is an actual real life threat, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, but it's mostly anxiety because we focus so much on what could happen. Um, the future tense or you know what things can go wrong that it cause us anxiety mm -hmm. and it causes us not to move it causes us to stress out and you know go through all these emotions that cause procrastination mm -hmm. so I don't want to uh, focus too much on it being fear based mm -hmm. because when he said it like that I was like man that's true yeah well, you know, most people are going to look at it as fear like that yeah fear. and that's why yeah, yeah. Well, I understand but, what you're saying though yeah. but definitely and that's the but thing I understand what he's saying too yeah yeah and, and if you haven't seen that video you need to go check that video out and Myron, Myron Golden TED Talk. TEDx Talk. TEDx Talk. TEDx Talk. TEDx Talk. I will mm -hmm. attach it um mm -hmm. but yeah it's not I don't I think when you get that understanding that I'm not procrastinating because I'm afraid yeah I'm procrastinating because the anxiety is becoming heavy mm -hmm. it's it's causing me to um make up stories in my head you know that causes me to feel like you know, it can't be done. Yeah. Self-doubt. You start doubting it. Mm -hmm. So, because you make stories in your head, of course, you're going to believe it, right? Mm -hmm. Because we know how your mind works. Mm -hmm. Once you believe it, that is your belief. Yeah. So, now you're going to only look at the negative things, and it's going to rob you from even taking that first yeah, step. Yeah, taking that, 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 that first step, taking that action. Yeah, taking yeah. that action. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And that actually led us to the tips of how to overcome it. <laughs> but, yeah, that is one way to overcome it. Look at it not from a fear base. But from a base of anxiety, stress, mm -hmm. um, when you think about why you procrastinate. Yeah. Okay. You're not afraid. You yeah. know, it's, it's not fear. Yeah. Because you, uh, I guess you can't be fearful of something that you don't that, know that you think that you think is going to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's that anxiety is just, just, just well up in you. Exactly. And yeah. Because you only fear a thing that you know for sure. That, yeah. Because it's that, real and present. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and yeah, present. it's a yeah. real and present danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. So that's like, uh, you know, I have afraid of snakes. You see a snake, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it ain't going to be no anxiety and stress. It's going to be some real life, get it away from me, I'm going to die yeah. type thing. Because I know what they can do. Yeah. But then it can be anxiety because I conjure something in my head like they going to kill me, they yeah. going to bite me yeah. and suck me and all that. Well, you can just step on his head. No, nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, yeah. Um, anything else on? You said you're going to get the tips. 
Yeah, well, that was my one tip. I'm okay. sorry. That that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my one tip because that one tip. only because I felt like that is almost the best tip. That was the revelation that I got. Okay. I would say two tips: understanding why you procrastinate, mm. get to the root of it. Yeah. You know, dig deep down. Why am I procrastinating? Mm-hmm. Is it anxiety? Am I conjuring up stories in my head that what that could happen? And always remember, what you focus on, you will manifest. Mm-hmm. If you focus on negative stories in your head, guess what? You're never going to move because it's going to manifest it. Mm-hmm. If you just focus on a positive aspect of it, the energy around that positivity thought is going to come into fruition. Mm-hmm. So it's going to give you the power and, you know, the manpower and the strength and the anticipation for you to move, to step out. And do what you have to do without procrastinating. I'm going to say this too. Uh, like she was saying, manifest. You will conjure up in your head. Let's say let's say you're saying you're going to start a business. You will conjure up in your head saying, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail. And you keep saying that over and over and over and over again. Till when you do start the business, you, you're actually, for you it. actually fail. You're already looking to fail. Looking for it. And you fail. Yeah. Because you was already looking for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. I want you guys to think about that. that that's serious. That's yeah. real. That's the law of attraction at its finest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 guys. Yeah. So, and we also have a video. I think we have several videos on law of attraction uh, and manifesting. Yeah, manifestation, law of attraction. Yeah, yeah. guys, check them out. I will try to link them down below mm-hmm. um, so you can just click the link to get it. Yeah. Um, but we hope this episode will shed some light, some enlightenment on procrastination. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have a procrastination problem. You just have an anxiety problem, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah. You, you, you got to find out what's, why, why am I, why? Why am I having this anxiety? Yeah. You know, about this situation that I'm conjuring up in my head. Exactly. I need to get that out of my head so I can stop procrastinating so I can go do that thing that I want to do. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So, and think about it. It's all about your attitude towards whether if it's negative or positive. It's mm-hmm. your attitude. Yeah. You know, your, your attitude towards things will carry you farther, will carry you a long way than the thoughts that you conjure up in your head. Mm-hmm. You can, I think with me, you can just think about something like, I would say the thoughts is not, it's, it's always a battle in your head. It's what you dwell on. Okay. So, yeah. So, if my if I have this fear like, man, I know if I jump and try this, such and such is going to happen, it's going to be fear. But my attitude is like, you know what? And if it do happen, I'm going to learn from it. Mm-hmm. If it do happen, and hey, at least I tried it. You know, at least I did something. And it's almost like a reward to myself because it's breaking off that layer of, you know, something that needs to be broke off of you to get you to your next level. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at it. Just saying. Yep. I like my new hair. I gotta get off here. She, 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 she <laughs> messing around with this hat and everything. But anyway, guys. But yeah, guys. Take us home, back. Hey, God is good. Yeah. Life is good. When we are good, we feel good. We live in the life of abundance. Peace.